everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode, SpongeBob Long Pants. So SpongeBob Long Pants is about when this random business guy, he just gives SpongeBob these long pants because SpongeBob was just freezing cold with his knees being cold and out of nowhere he just shows up. He gives SpongeBob these long pants. It makes SpongeBob look more adult and with this episode, it is written by Kaz. And Kaz returned last year with the episode The Sewers of Bikini Bottom, in which it was so good to see him back. That's my second best SpongeBob episode of 2015. And I was honestly just looking forward to seeing what Kaz could bring because he is known for writing some of the season three SpongeBob episodes. You know, some of the best episodes to come out in season three. When it came to SpongeBob Long Pants, I wasn't sure how to feel going into this episode just because it just seemed like two square pants are not two square pants. An episode I thought was awesome. But you know, with Kaz writing this episode, I had hope going into it. And after seeing SpongeBob Long Pants, I'm honestly surprised Kaz wrote this episode because this episode was very disappointing. This really was not that good of an episode. And this is personally the first time a SpongeBob episode written by Kaz has honestly really let me down. Now, of course, there's funny moments here and there. There's moments in this episode where you could feel the Kaz signature. Like, there's a funny moment when SpongeBob is taking his boating test, and you know, the fish that was testing him gave him the driver's license, even though SpongeBob failed. And the reason he gave SpongeBob the boating license was because of SpongeBob's long pants. You know, I thought that was funny, and then that's where you see a cameo from Mrs. Puff where she senses Spongebob gain the boating license and now she starts to freak out. She has that cameo, including the cameo at the very end of the episode, which I thought was so funny. There's another scene where Spongebob is at the art house with these fancy people, the art house theater, which was honestly very clever too. There's a few more kind of funny parts in this episode as well, but those two parts I mentioned are really the moments that made me laugh out loud. Like those were the biggest highlights in terms of humor to me. I also did enjoy seeing Sandy at the end of the episode, you know, because he saw SpongeBob in his long pants with those little rich snooty fishes. So I thought that was kind of cool how she already had the ticket for SpongeBob to go to that Merman and Barnacle Boy reboot that's happening, which I did find interesting. Oh, but the problems I did have with SpongeBob long pants, how SpongeBob is idolized as this adult because he's in those freaking long pants. People, they're long pants. They're freaking long pants. Like, I just thought it was just so dumb that it just makes him look a dull. Everyone sees him as this handsome guy because he's in long pants. Oh yeah, not to mention that he's outgrown the Krusty Krab because he's in his long pants. Not to mention that just because he's in his long pants that he's no longer making Krabby Patties. Having Squidward make the Krabby Patties, which I thought was just like so stupid. to make SpongeBob want to go work at the fancy restaurant. And just the way the customers at the Krusty Krab were looking at him was just so awkward. That's the thing about this episode. It's not like bad or anything, but there were a lot of moments that I just found so stupid. All this because of long pants. Really just sit down and think about that. The storyline does get rushed, especially, especially towards the end end is where I just felt like this episode really rushed with Spongebob in his long pants. How Spongebob just goes from his long pants to his square pants just goes completely out of nowhere like it felt really rushed because Spongebob's in his long pants with the rich fishes and then once he sees Sandy Patrick and Mr. Krabs for the Murray Man and Barnacle Boy reboot movie premiere that's when he just has his short pants off. And then not to mention that you have that businessman that gave Spongebob the long pants just comes out of nowhere and rips off the boating license, which, yeah, that was, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. And as if there wasn't enough dumb moments in SpongeBob Long Pants, the other dumb moment is that just because SpongeBob, yes, you guessed it, once again is wearing the long pants, he can't go inside the theater to watch the Murray Man and Barnacle Boy reboot movie just because he's too adult to see the movie. Yeah.
But overall, just looking at SpongeBob Long Pants, it really is such an underwhelming episode. The storyline really isn't memorable. I mean, it's a serviceable storyline and all, but it wasn't anything too grand or spectacular for me. SpongeBob Long Pants is just a very forgettable episode, in my opinion. It is so far Kaz's weakest episode that he's written, in my opinion, for SpongeBob SquarePants. And I'm going to give SpongeBob Long Pants a 5 out of 10. Now the next episode I'm going to be reviewing is Larry's Gym. So Larry's Gym is about when Larry the Lobster is opening up his own gym, but of course the citizens of Bikini Bob need to fill out some form in order to have a membership to his gym, but his opening day, the first day, is free, so everyone is enjoying pretty much free gym day. SpongeBob is there, he's working out until when SpongeBob all of a sudden becomes huge and strong, making Larry the Lobster lose his self esteem and making him gain a lot of body fat. So Larry the Lobster has to, well, get back to being buff, strong, and the confident Larry the Lobster that we all know and love. And this was an episode I was actually very excited about because when's the last time we really had a Larry the Lobster centered episode? Yeah, it's been a long time for sure. And Larry the Lobster, he hasn't really been appearing a lot lately. So it's actually really nice for us to see him get an episode centered around him. And I could definitely say, after seeing Larry's Gym, I was not disappointed by his episode at all. I had a great time with this episode. This episode was awesome. And I just loved it so much because... Yes, one, we get to see Larry the Lobster, but we also get to see SpongeBob trying to work out at the gym. And I liked how SpongeBob was getting trained by Larry and how Larry is teaching SpongeBob all these techniques. I really liked the storyline to this episode too, as I did really like how Larry the Lobster wasn't really feeling like himself, especially when he's filling out forms. Like, you actually feel bad for Larry the Lobster. Like, I'm not gonna lie, you feel very bad for Larry the Lobster in this episode. So it was kind of interesting to see how he wasn't really feeling like himself until we got to the end where weirdly regains all of his strong muscles again. And I really liked how SpongeBob just all of a sudden becomes huge, like really huge and strong and everyone seems to go into SpongeBob for exercise lessons instead of Larry the Lobster now. I did really enjoy Mr. Krabs because apparently whenever Mr. Krabs hears the word free, we all know this, he's gonna be there. And since Larry the Lobster's grand opening for his gym was free for the first day, that's when Mr. Krabs really spends the entire episode there, which was actually pretty funny. And I really enjoyed Mr. Krabs for the most part in this episode, and I'll get to why in a little bit. But yeah, I really enjoyed Mr. Krabs for the most part in this episode. I thought the episode had a really great pace to it. I was never bored watching it. There's a lot of funny jokes in this episode. SpongeBob gets all buff. Some of the exercise techniques, like when SpongeBob's sitting up and laughing, and Larry the Lobster at the end is making the joke about how the laugh is going to get really on his nerves, which is true because, let's face it, Spongebob does have an annoying laugh, and I liked how Larry the Lobster really poked fun at that. But of course, as we all can see coming, the only reason Spongebob is big is just because he's a sponge, and he had that gallon of water up in his head from when he was doing exercises, and, that, and all the water that was in that gallon just made Spongebob more bigger. It was the water that made Spongebob big, in which, like I said, we should all see that coming, but it was still funny how that happened. They also do bring the my legs joke, which was very funny, but instead of my leg, it's my legs, and they had a different voice for that joke, so uh, that was also very cool right there, you know, especially with me being a fan of the show, that honestly brought a big smile to my face. And then it was funny at the very end how Mr. Krabs never came back to the Krusty Krab because he's been spending in the steam room so long at Larry's gym. Larry Lobster, he rips off the door and he sees Mr. Krabs as this steamed cooked crab that you would eat at restaurants, which I thought was a hilarious way to end this episode. There's also a very funny flash 
flashback scene where SpongeBob says he's not good at lifting things, and it sh and it shows him attempting to lift things up, and he always fails. The flashback and the flashback scene was honestly very funny to me. Now, the only problems I have with this episode are just a couple of problems, and it's just that I didn't like how Mr. Krabs was acting towards Larry the Lobster. Like I said, I really liked him for the most part, but the part I didn't really appreciate Mr. Krabs was when he would tell Larry the Lobster Sucker, I mean, Mr. Krabs, the reason you're enjoying all that free stuff is because Larry the Lobster opened up the gym. So you shouldn't be calling him a sucker when he's the reason you're enjoying all of that free stuff at his gym in the first place. And then I just find it weird how SpongeBob is big, but Larry the Lobster couldn't figure out that he's only big because of that amount of water that got inside SpongeBob. Like, how did Larry the Lobster not notice that? And the only reason SpongeBob got back to normal is because Larry the Lobster was crying and he was hugging SpongeBob really hard that all of the water came out of SpongeBob, turning him back to normal. And yeah, how did he not notice? I just thought that was really weird to be honest. Overall guys, I thought Larry's Gym was a great episode. It's nice to see a Larry the Lobster centered episode again because like I said, when's the last time we had an episode that centered around Larry the Lobster? The episode has a lot of great humor to it. It's very well paced. It's very well executed. It's very well written with its storyline. And I'm going to give Larry's Gym an 8 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you guys think about Larry's Gym. And the episode Spongebob Long Pants as well. This is Tony, aka 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!